Hi, my name is Ita, and I welcome you to this course on Generalized Linear Models, or GLMs for short. GLMs provide a versatile framework for statistical modeling of data and are often used to solve practical problems. We will examine several such problems. The main objectives of this course are learning the building blocks of GLMs, how to train them, interpret the model results, assess performance, and compute predictions. To accomplish the objectives, we will set the theoretical and computational basis in Chapter 1, and cover logistic and Poisson regression in remaining chapters. By the end of the course, you will have both a theoretical understanding and the working knowledge of GLMs. GLMs are a generalization of linear models. To understand this, suppose you would like to predict salary given years of experience. In regression terms, you would write it as salary is predicted by experience, where tilde means predicted by. More formally, our linear model would be written as follows, where y is the continuous response variable, x the explanatory variable, betas are fixed unknown parameters that we estimate, where beta 0 denotes the intercept and beta 1 is the slope, and the random term epsilon, which measures how much of the variation in the response is not explained by the explanatory variable. To fit linear models in Python, we use stats models OLS function, which is imported from statsmodels.formula.api. Next, we initialize OLS formula and data arguments. Formula specifies output, inputs, and data containing the variables. Finally, the model is fitted by calling the fit method. The GLM function is considerably similar. It is also imported directly, and it uses one additional argument, family, which denotes the probability distribution of the response variable. More on this in the next lessons. Using the OLS function, we obtain the linear fit. The regression function tells us how much the response variable y changes, on average, for a unit increase in x. The model assumptions are linearity in the parameters, the errors are independent, normally distributed, and the variance around the regression line is constant for all values of x. But what if the response is not continuous, but binary, or count? Or the variance depends on the mean? Can we still fit a linear model? To illustrate this, let's consider data from nesting horseshoe crabs. The data has four explanatory variables and response variables set and y. We are interested in predicting the probability that there is at least one satellite crab nearby the female crab given female's weight. The response variable is binary, denoting yes or one if the satellite is present, and no or zero otherwise. First, we fit a linear model using OLS function. Taking the weight at 5.2 and reading off the probability value, we see the fit is structurally wrong, since we get a value greater than 1, which is not possible by our data. To correct for this, we fit a GLM, shown in blue, with the binomial family corresponding to binomial or logistic regression. Visually, there is a significant difference in the fitted models. Let's see what this means numerically. Now, for the weight of 5.2, we obtain probability of 0 0.99, which is in line with binary data, since it is bounded by 0 and 1. To obtain the binary class from computed probabilities, we split the probabilities at say 0 0.5, which for the weight of 5.2 gives the yes class. Similarly, 
for weight 1.5, we obtain no class. Now, let's review the concepts 